According to Prince Andrew, he has raised enough money to stay in his 30 million pound Windsor estate, Royal Lodge. Additionally, it was claimed last night that Sir Michael Stevens, the keeper of the privy purse, had authorized the Duke of York's funds. It was unclear whether Andrew would be able to sustain himself financially and stay in the 30 room house after the king stopped funding his brother's 3 million pound annual security last month. Although Andrew could be able to afford Royal Lodge for a year or two, Palace and Crown Estate insiders worry that the position might not be long-term viable and that Andrew's funds might eventually run out. Let's just say that if that moment comes and the Duke needs to rely on the King's resources once again, the range of possibilities available to him may be more limited and somewhat less enticing, one insider told Hardman. Under a Crown Estate contract that lasted until 2078, Andrew and his ex-wife, the Duchess of York, had been residing in the Windsor Great Park property. Andrew, 64, had been urged by the king to relocate to the neighboring Frogmore Cottage, which Prince Harry and the Duchess of Sussex had just left. The insider revealed last week that the king had severed Andrew's financial ties, resulting in a new low point in the two brothers' relationship. According to Hardman's revised history, the king instructed the keeper of the privy purse to cut off his struggling brother's yearly personal stipend, which was estimated to be £1 million. The Times said last night that Sir Michael had given his approval for the money. Royal tasks are no longer performed by the Duke. Because of his ties to convicted pedophile Jeffrey Epstein, he has lost his patronage and military affiliations and is essentially prohibited from wearing his HRH title in public. Andrew has been adamant about holding on to what remains of his old life, especially his house. He has rebuffed suggestions that he will move to Frogmore Cottage and has made it clear to the king's advisors that they have no authority to force him to downsize. The duke has indicated time and again that he has other sources of income from his ties in international trade, which he uses to cover his maintenance at Royal Lodge. The source of the funding is unknown, as is whether the money he has discovered will be enough to pay for urgently required building repairs on the home. The renovation expense has already increased to £7 million. Charles wants to rent out Windsor Royal Lodge for £1 million a year, according to a June report, but Andrew would have to vacate the mansion first.